What's up, Warriors and Patriots? That's Arn Troy coming to you live here on YouTube. <clears throat> I'm looking at a uh, email I just got from some friends of mine in the Oath Keepers, and I'll read it. Outstanding. I just left my neighbor's house. Devin is with the National Guard in this area, and he just got home from an E3 mission, which is an emergency deployment readiness exercise at the Armory. And he said, during that exercise, three companies of infantry were polled and questioned uh, about the drill and its purpose. And one of the questions was, is as a member of the National Guard, would you, would you use lethal force against the American public if ordered to do so? One of the men stepped forward and refused to take the poll and explained this was against his better moral judgment on his part and that he would not do so. And then he placed his weapon on the deck, which is the ground, and fell behind the formation. Devin said it was like a waterfall. Every member of, of their company laid their weapons on the deck and fell beside the lone specialist. This included all NCOs, staff NCOs, and senior NCOs, and only left the people in the front of the formation, which was three captains, two lieutenants, and the battalion commander, who was so upset he started having chest pains from yelling and screaming about court-martials and disbandment of the unit and to other units, and Devin, who is a master sergeant, went to his troops and told them that he could not have been prouder and he was floating on clouds while he was telling me this. Uh, maybe we have more than just hope on our side. Semper Fi, thanks for the honor of being here, Robert. Uh, immediately, right after this uh, email, the next email was, I just heard from my friend Devin. He was texted by his platoon leader and advised that the specialist who laid down his weapon first is being held in the county jail by the battalion commander awaiting a hearing under the UCMJ, which is the Uniform Code of Military Justice. Devin couldn't get any more info, in, information than that, and I don't want to post a man's name until we have more information. I am so upset by this, I'm having chest pains myself. How can they do this to one soldier and not all of them? I'll let you know how things go. Sipper 5. Stay strong. All right. The reason that they can do this is what they're going to do to that little specialist is they're going to make an example of him. They're going to say, just like I've said before, this is what's going to happen to you if you don't do what I tell you to do. The American people are the problem, and we're going to root them out, and we're going to treat them just like enemy combatants, and if you don't do it, you're going to find yourself in fucking prison, uh, Leavenworth, wherever, and at, at the least, you're going to go to the county jail, and then you're going to, and prior to that, you were a, a, a good soldier serving your country, doing what you thought was necessary uh, to provide for your, your family and your way of life. Now, all of a sudden, you're a fucking enemy combatant because you won't fire on the American people. Just like I said it would happen. Listen, folks, I was a staff sergeant in the active duty army. I was a combat go to war soldier. Now, what I'm getting at is my job and the jobs of my soldiers was to close with and destroy the enemy by close quarters combat and support by fire. All right? Maneuver, throw hand grenades, blow shit up. That was our job. All right? Now, they're wanting these same soldiers to do those kind of things on the American people. One guy from the Oath Keepers just sent me, who is a great organization by the way, uh, just sent me an email saying that one of the soldiers, uh, who is a friend of his, now is being held in the county jail because he refused to take a poll, you know, uh, uh, a freaking, I can't even think of the name of it, whatever. He, ain't, he said, I ain't going to do it. It's wrong. They locked him up. So if you think that the rest of the military is going to do that, there will be some that will say that they're going to get locked up for failure to follow direct order, all right? Now, just uh, rewind a little bit to say like the My Lai killing in Vietnam when Lieutenant Cowley was ordered to kill everybody in this village and he ordered all his men to do so. They prosecuted his ass, all right? And the people that said, hey, I was just following orders. Well, that shit don't fly, all right? Now, all of a sudden, it's reversed and they're saying, hey, if you don't follow orders, I don't care if they're even illegal, you do what I tell you to do. Or bad shit, it's going to come your way. What is this country coming to, man? I suppose if I was still in the military, that I would be in jail because I would not take an order to fire on the American people. I would not do it. No. 